Hello, all right? Uh, you learn something new every day, don't you? As I did today. Now, one of the main reasons that I got into biking was because I was working places where it was difficult to park. You know, residents parking, etc., etc. So that's a big reason why I got into biking, because it means that you can park your bike anywhere, apart from a uh, two hour waiting, for example. You have to be a bit careful there and make sure you get back within the two hours. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know that actually. I thought that was free for bikes until about 10 years ago. Anyway, um, so yeah, residence parking has always been a major bonus for me to be able to park there with a bike because obviously we're not taking up much space are we and we can normally fit in a gap where a car won't go anyway so what difference does it make not anymore uh, apparently as of se september 2022 uh, you're not allowed to park your bike in residence parking anymore which is something which i only found out uh, about a week ago doesn't make any sense to me. It's the same old story, isn't it, with bikers that it's almost like another nail in the coffin. So prior to September, I would have been absolutely fine parking in here. Uh, you could only get another little car in there anyway, whereas now those days are over. So I'm gonna have to, obviously that's not my bike, that's Honda UK, but I'm gonna have to buy a permit to be able to park here. It's such a shame that they keep on getting us one way or another. It's really frustrating to me, but um, that's the way it is. Where can you park now? What, what's left for us? I'm not sure whether we're still allowed to park in, uh, in bays, you know, where they got the parking meter. I mean, what happens there? Can we still park there for free? I'm gonna track down my local traffic warden soon and, and find out. I would imagine so, because you can't leave a ticket on a bike really can you anyway so that's that just a quick video just to mention what i learned today uh, my question for you guys where you live obviously we're, i'm probably speaking to you you're in probably somewhere else in the country whereabouts do you park are you able to park in residence parking or have they put restrictions on it obviously i got uh, my mate new biker uh, up in London, I'd be interested in what you, you know, what you where you can park. Uh, I know there's a lot of solo motorcycle base up there, but um, yeah, so I'd be interested in knowing where you guys can park and if you're still allowed to park in resident parking permit areas. It's funny with this so environmental uh, whiffle waffle that's going on these days. It's all relative, of course. But they should be promoting bikes, shouldn't they? Because I guess none of them ride bikes, so that's probably, that's probably why that is. But yeah, I do find it frustrating, and as I say, it's just another nail in the coffin, isn't it? It's, it was just such a major bonus to be able to ride where you want on a bike, park pretty much where you want, whereas now we're restricted to pretty much uh, solo motorcycle bays and the little tiny bays that we get in car parks which frankly are getting quite busy now you know I'm turning up in in, in car parks sometimes and it's quite a quite a squish to get your bike in between but yeah that's progress for you isn't it that's more money for them it's all about money at the end of the day as you know everything is and that's what makes the world go around so I was just thinking the other option is to park on the pavement, isn't it? Apparently you can do that as long as you're not causing an obstruction, so... Uh, but that is a grey area, that's, that's... Yeah, it's not worth starting that caper, is it? Starting now, I grin, well, it's not causing an obstruction and the other person saying, well, yes it is. Round and round you go. I got a parking permit for the van, so it means I can park in, um, you know, residence parking as long as I put a ticket in the van. Twice now, I've parked in the residence parking, um, put a ticket in the van, let them know where I, you know, where I am, and I've also put, you know, got my little uh, token, my little voucher saying 
permit basically saying that I can park in those areas gone back to the van and guess what I got a ticket so the first time that happened I was up a, a ladder right I just giving you a picture here I parked in residence parking done all the right thing and uh, my phone went well, I was up a ladder plaster in the ceiling so I couldn't do much you know I'm cakes in plaster and uh, and all the rest of it and uh, yeah, and I got down and I, I saw a missed call from a mobile number, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll give them a ring back. I went to give them a ring back and they didn't pick up. It was pretty instant, you know, come down the ladder, ah, damn, just missed it, give them a ring back. And uh, yeah, so what, part of the appeal, when I did appeal it, I, uh, I basically told them that I tried to, they, they said that they, he tried to call me, I said I tried to ring back. You know, and then uh, I appealed it, got rejected, appealed it again, and yeah, then they, they they quashed it. So that was that one done. And the other time, no one rang. I'd done all the right things and uh, put a ticket in the van, got a, got a parking ticket. And it's always a pisser, isn't it? When you go back to your car or your van and you've got a nice yellow sticker on there, it oh, ruins the day. But like I say, I'd done everything legitimate. And again, I appealed it and said I had a, you know, a, a permit and all that in front of the uh, dashboard. And again, they quashed it, but it's still a lot of messing around for me, having to send it back, not knowing what's gonna happen and all the hassle that I'm gonna have to go through to get it quashed. You know, fair dinkum, if I, uh, if I park on a double yellow line and get a ticket, that's my bad. I'll suck it up. You know, I know the rules. That has happened a few times. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's just just getting worse and worse, isn't it? These things. And no matter what happens, they seem to get an issue. You know, like the potholes and the all in the roads and that, or issues for the NHS. And they're so numb to it, they just say, right, we'll chuck, you know, 300 million at it. And then it seems to get just, it just seems to disappear on nothing, doesn't it? It's still got the potholes, and yet, hang on, you don't look, you're going to look, you don't think, it's still got the potholes, and it just disappears into thin air. It's just all sound bites, isn't it? We've got a problem? Yeah, right, here's 100 million pounds. Oh, wow, thanks. Where's it gone? I don't know. <laughs> That's enough. Bye.